I'm a care team member because I want to be involved with our senior citizens. I'm a care team member because the Lord planted on my heart as a small child to visit with the elderly because of the influence of my grandmother in my life. I'm a care team member because we love working with the older people in our church. Because I felt the Lord called me to do something different. Because I have a love for people and it is a ministry to me. And she's just such an alive person. It makes me want to be like her whenever I'm older. We do not end a conversation or a visit without, I love you, you are my best friend. It's a tremendous need, it's a growing need. In the next 30 years, the senior adult population in North Carolina will double. And the greatest need, I think, is just our, our elderly are lonely. They just need to know somebody cares. I think NC BAM's role is um, pretty simple. Is that NC BAM has the ability to connect our Baptist churches in North Carolina to the need. And then they can do the initial training to kind of get us kick started. And what people really and truly need is that relationship, that, relationship. that somebody to show that he or she cares about them. And the friendly visiting is extremely important within CBAL. In fact, that's probably the launching pad to cause other things to happen with the whole program. I think uh, the care teams uh, do an excellent job at addressing those needs. For example, I've had uh, many of the frail elderly in this church to comment to me from time to time about how they look forward to the care team members coming. And most of our care teams visit each week. And so I've heard a lot of good stories, uh, good testimonies about the impact and the inroads they're making in the lives of our elderly. So it's, it's an exciting thing to watch as it unfolds and it's really changing lives. As we got to know these aging adults a little bit more, I found out that the door to their hearts was loneliness. It, it was friendship. There are a lot of specific needs, uh, safety needs in the home, um, just basic how to take care of yourself, how to watch your medications, how to make sure your home is clean and the floor is cleared and safe. Uh, there are a lot of those specific needs, but to me, two of the greatest needs, and it's one that it seems we find everywhere we go, is that there is a need for older people to have an opportunity to respond to the gospel and there's a deep need for friendship. Uh, they're just more and more isolated as they get older. They come by once in a while just to visit and makes you feel so good that somebody comes to see you and know you're in the world. You know your children love you, and then suddenly somebody else loves you enough to come in, bring you Bible materials that from the church, pray, you know they're praying for you, just, you know, it, it just gives you not such a, such a lonely feeling that you had before. It fills your whole body and soul with love. We're so grateful for them. That it's not just yeah helping somebody else or being available, but yeah. that person also is a blessing to you. Well, I think it just shows the love of Jesus. That's yeah. what Jesus would do. We perform a miracle in these people's lives and helping them get back into, well, feeling loved and, and wanted. Mm -hmm. I think reaching out to other people and us working as teams, it just seems like it, it sort of knits us together a little bit better as a church family. And one of the things that I hope is through the work of North Carolina Baptist Aging Ministry, um, they're going to help us not only see that that population is there, but I think they're going to help us better understand that population so we know how to go and, and share the gospel in a way that is meaningful in word and in action. My apprehension was, can we really do that much? But the thing that has surprised me is how such a little bit goes such a long way to getting rid of loneliness and depression. People um, don't want to hear your words if they don't see the action. And I think doing things will help us be able to witness to them and, and all like that a lot better than just words. So I think God has really blessed us graciously here and has shown us where the needs are. And as we visit, he just opens more and more of those doors that communicates to us that 
here it is. Here's your opportunity. Here's where I want you to serve. It's just made my day because I live alone. So it's company to me and I look forward to every bit of it. That's just seeing somebody. You've been lonely, you know. You, by yourself a lot, you get lonely. And so just to see them come is just a joy. The best thing that could ever happen, I think, to, to us older people. It gives us confidence and everything. And, and uh, you know, to, to know that you've got somebody uh, standing by if you need them. And, but they never leave without asking me if they see anything they can do to help me and to let them know if I need any. I feel like I'm still connected to the church. So even though it is a sacrificial type uh, ministry as far as their time, they don't see it like that. They just see it as an opportunity to honor the Lord Jesus and care for the people they love and they do it with their whole hearts. Every one of them will tell you that they are the ones who feel that they are blessed by this ministry they're involved in. It's not difficult to do ministry. All you need to do is jump in and start. And when you do, you see the impact it makes. This really impacts lives and changes lives, and it's exciting to see that happen.